What's up guys and welcome back for some more Fire Emblem Fates Online Wi-Fi Battles and this is a very special episode because in this episode I'm gonna be battling Rasuli plays and we're gonna go at each other with our best teams and this is gonna be a best of five. So these are five of my best teams and uh, I wanna give a big shout out to my friend Adam for helping me test out these teams and I'm gonna be leaving his link in the description down below. Also make sure to check out Rasuli's channel because he's a very experienced player himself and he uploads a lot of Fire Emblem content and on his channel you'll be able to see his side of this set so you can see his uh, thought process behind his plays and his reactions to my plays so gonna be leaving all those links in the description down below so these are five of my best teams and if you're curious about how or why I made the teams the way I did I'm gonna be leaving all of the explanation in the description down below so if any of you are curious about my thought process behind team building you can check it out so for the first match we have decided to go to valley settlement and uh, I'm gonna be using a team which is made around miracle awakening Midori and Scarlet so gonna be going to valley settlement and his power is actually really high higher than mine so let's see how this goes so he has actually brought this team, I was expecting him to bring his Kenshi Knight and Master Ninja team with a lot of plus 7 weapons. But uh, as you can see he has not brought his plus 7 weapons which uh, actually makes us even because I also have plus 3 and plus 4 forged weapons. And uh, he has a Miracle Midori without Norian Trust, a Gale for Charlotte and a Dragonstone plus uh, tanky Kana build. Which is fine because I do have a Worm Slayer on my team. And he does have his rally bot Shigure. Now, if I place my units uh, correctly, he will not be able to reach my units with a Charlotte after rescuing her with Shigure. The Charlotte is a problem because she does have Guild Force. So, um, I think I do not need to play defensively. Yeah, she will not be able to reach my units after Shigure rescues her. Alright, so uh, I'm gonna be replicating Azura and uh, gonna be replicating my rally bot Laszlo and we'll be pairing up Kaze with Midori and I can use uh, Rainbow Tonic on Midori and I can use Rainbow Tonic with my Scarlet. Now the reason why I have uh, Kaze as a Sword Master instead of a Master Ninja is because upon pairing up Swordmasters give you plus 5 speed and plus 3 luck and Midori definitely needs some luck on this kind of build so that's why I went with Swordmaster Kaze instead of Master Ninja and uh, I like to have different classes on my team so that's why Swordmaster Kaze was much better so he has replicated his rally bot and uh, he cannot really play defensive against this team because I do have a rally bot and I also have uh, Azura and I also have Scarlet who has who has 10 movement so he really cannot run away or uh, play defensively against my team so uh, gonna be using my replicated Azura to rally uh, my Scarlet and Midori and uh, what I can do is uh, just rescue actually I can just uh, use rally with my Laszlo on my Scarlet and Midori and then I can use uh, Sing with Azura on my Laszlo and uh, then I'll be using Rescue and uh, I'll be rescuing Scarlet and this Scarlet really hits hard so I'm gonna be attacking his Charlotte and pretty much gonna be killing her this turn because I do have Brave Axe So I do proc a Rent Heaven. And that's gonna be it for uh, his uh, Charlotte. And now I can attack his uh, Rally Bot, Shigure, because if he loses his Rally Bot, he's gonna be losing a huge chunk of power. So I think I can just attack him with, uh, um, with my Scarlet. I could attack his Kana, but I do have a Worm Slayer, so killing his Rally Bot is the better play. I'm gonna be using Iron Naginata because uh, after killing his Rally Bot, he might attack my Scarlet with his Kana with Brave Sword or uh, Lightning 
with this Kana. So, uh, with Iron Naginata equipped, at least I'm going to be having the Weapon Strangle advantage. And uh, my Rally Bot is in his attack range. So, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to rescue my Rally Bot with my Replicated Rally Bot and just put Midori here and equip Iron Shuriken. And uh, let's see what he does. My Scarlet is on top of a mountain, so she's going to be getting the terrain bonus. And uh, this is actually not the same Scarlet which I used before in a Wi-Fi battle. This is actually my own Scarlet. And uh, I just transferred her over from my birthright save file using unit logbook. And uh, his kind of does have uh, lightning plus four. So he's going to be able to easily kill my Scarlet with that because Scarlet has really bad resistance. So my Scarlet is definitely dying this turn. She did do her job which was killing two units. That's how this team functions. Basically Scarlet just kills two of my opponent's units and then uh, Miracle Midori is able to handle the late game. So he's actually going to attack my Scarlet with his Kana using Worm Slayer instead of Lightning plus 4. Really interesting decision. And I'm actually going to get a crit. Wow. So his Kana is going to go down. I'm not sure why he used his Worm Slayer. He could just have used his Lightning plus 4. Or even use his Midori to weaken my Scarlet first. And then use Lightning to kill my Scarlet. But uh, he's going to attack my Scarlet with his Midori. And uh, that's going to be able to finish off my Scarlet. Which is fine. So he only has two units left on his team and uh, what I can do is uh, just use, uh, wow this is actually my real Azura. I can use Rally with my replicated Azura and uh, I can just use my Rally bot and rescue my Midori here and uh, just get some free damage on his uh, Mitama. So I'm gonna get a Rend Heaven and a crit. Take your and now I'm gonna get an Aether as uh, she's gonna proc Miracle and survive. Which is fine and uh, I can either rescue my Rally Bot or I can rescue my Midori. Midori is my win condition and I only have one rescue staff left. So I think... Um, I'm gonna be rescuing my Midori because like I said she's my win condition and uh, I can just use Sing with Azura. Thank you. And uh, now I can use Rally on my Rally bot so that maybe he can survive. His Mitama does have Beast Killer but uh, she's not gonna be able to reach my Rally bot. His Midori can attack my Rally Bot. And he's actually gonna pair up his uh, Midori with his Mitama. So that his Mitama can now reach my Rally Bot. He's actually gonna use his Midori to attack me. Here's a bitter pill. He's gonna get Ether and a crit. And uh, that's gonna be it for my Rally Bot. Which is fine because I still do have my Azura and my Vin Condition Midori. So, um... I can use Rally. Oh wow, this is my real Azura. My replicated Azura's only job is to Rally, so that's why I have Replicate on my Azura. And uh, I can just use Rally here. And by the looks of this, I think I also want to give uh, my Meduri the Inspiring Song boost. So, um... I'm going to be putting her here and uh, I can just use Sing with Azura. And now I can just attack his Miracle Midori because his Midori does not have Narian Trust. So she will not be able to proc Aegis or Pavis which Mitama has. And I'm actually curious how Kagero's Dart will do against his Miracle Midori. It does have pretty bad damage output. So, gonna be attacking her with my Iron Shuriken plus 7. Take your medicine. I'm gonna proc a Lethality as uh, she's gonna survive with Miracle. My diagnosis, you're done. And she's gonna proc Aether. As uh, this hit will be able to take care of her guard stance. 
So because of Ether, she was able to recover some HP. So now she can proc Miracle once again. But uh, both of his units are really weakened at this point. His Midori is at 3 HP and his Mitama is at 1 HP. He's gonna choose to attack my Azura with his Midori. And he's gonna proc Ether and a crit. So that's gonna be it for my Azura, which is fine because I still do have my win condition, which is Miracle Midori. He does not have vantage on his Midori, and uh, I can just safely attack him with either Kagero's Dart or Iron Shuriken. I'm gonna choose to attack with Iron Shuriken because of the higher damage output. I'm gonna get a Rand Heaven, and she's gonna survive once again as she's also gonna get that and I do survive with my Miraculous save and this is gonna be able to take care of his Midori but I tried. now even if I didn't proc Miraculous save uh, it still would have been okay because I do have my Kaze as a sword master and he does have dual katana so I would have been able to finish off his uh, weakened two units using my Kaze and dual katana so he only has his Mitama left at this point and he's gonna use his elixir and I can just attack his Mitama with uh, my Midori and I'm actually in the awakening range. I'm gonna get a lethality as she's gonna survive once again and I'm gonna get one more lethality to finish off this game. So that's gonna be the first match and uh, gonna be moving on and we'll be going to our second game so Rasuli has counter pick destroyed town so we're gonna be going there and I think he's gonna be bringing his Kenshi Knight and Master Ninja team so that's why I'm bringing a bulky offensive team and he actually brought this team with a white tank build on his Karin which is really bad because he has breaker weapons for all of my weapons on this team, which I have, actually he does not have Axe Breaker and my Kaldori can use Axes. And he's got uh, Miracle Midori, Miracle Awakening Midori actually. And uh, his team is pretty scary. And he also has a Rally Bot. He does have Armor Slayer. So uh, I'm actually using a bulky offensive team made up of two Generals and uh, Awakening Miracle Midori. So uh... This is going to be a tough match for me. So he's going to use Rainbow Tonic with his Karin and he's going to pair up his Jacob with his uh, Rasulina. And he's going to use Rainbow Tonic with his Midori, pairing up Kazi with Midori. And uh, he's going to replicate his Rally Bot. Alright. So uh, because he has replicated his Rally Bot, he could definitely use the Rescue. So uh, that's why I think I'm just going to be pairing up Kaze with Midori and uh, I can put Midori here and have Kagero's dart. Oh, I actually do not have Kagero's dart on this team. I forgot. So I'm going to be equipping Iron Shuriken plus 7 and I'm going to be using Rainbow Tonic and I can use Rainbow Tonic with Kaldori and Ignatius. And finally use rally so I'm ready for him if he wants to he can come and attack me and uh, like I said this is a tough matchup because he brought this a white tank build with his Karin uh, which is a very strong and popular build on Karin I actually made this team with two generals because Rasuli loves using Kinshi Knights and Master Ninjas and generals can counter them pretty well so that's why I have General Kaldori and Ignatius. They also have S rank with each other. So gonna be pairing them up. And uh, I can just use uh, Rally. And uh, what I can do is uh, put my Kaldori in his attack range. And I can equip Guard Naginata. And put Midori here. I also brought uh, Adam and Club on my Kaldori. In case he brought his Kinshi Knights. And Adam and Club does give you plus 4 defense. Now, I could use Guard Naginata, but uh, against the Skinchy Knights, 
because of guard naginata it gives him the weapon triangle advantage so that's why i also brought adam and club and uh his midori does have sting shuriken plus one which is not really a big deal because uh i made this team keeping in mind that he could bring plus seven sting shuriken so um i can easily take a hit from his midori to be honest it's very hard to one round ko my kaldori And his Midori doesn't really have too, too much strength. So I think I'll be fine. He does have Armor Slayer as well on his Jacob. So he's gonna attack my Kaldori with his Midori. She's gonna do 4 damage. He's gonna get Rend Heaven as it does 16 damage. And I'm gonna get the Draconic Hex on him. Which is going to help me weaken him. And he's going to put his uh, Rosalina right there. And uh, my Keldori is going to get all of her HP back because of Renewal. And now I can use Rally and uh, pretty much just attack this Midori using Brave Lance. Um, yeah, I can uh, also use Spy Shuriken with Midori. I want to see how Steel Axe does against her. Alright, 43 damage. I'm going to be going with Brave Lance. Let's go. No more messing around. I'm going to get the Aether because he does have Quixotic on this Midori. You're not gonna like this. As this Rend Heaven will be able to finish her off. But I tried so hard. So down goes his Awakening Miracle Midori, and now I can just attack his Kaze. He has Hunter's Knife equipped. I'm not sure if he was expecting me to bring Great Knights or Kinchi Knights for his ninjas. But gonna be attacking his Kaze with my Midori. As I'm gonna get Aether and a crit. And uh, that's gonna take out his Kaze. He still has 4 units left and his Rosalina is definitely a threat and a nuisance because of her build. And if you guys do not know what an avoid tank build is, I think I'm going to be putting uh, the build on your screen right now so you can see it. And uh, his Miracle Midori did go down and uh, I'm not sure... How I feel about him having Quixotic and Awakening on the same skill set. Honestly, I'm not really a big fan of uh, Quixotic. Because it's quite high risk, high reward skill. And it can sometimes help your opponent. And um, his Jacob actually has uh, Dual Guardsman and Miracle. And I think the original uh, Avoid Tank build had Luna and Astra instead of that, or maybe Lethality instead of uh, Dual Guardsman. So he only has Rend Heaven, and he's gonna be attacking my Kaldori. I have no chance of hitting her, and uh, I'm gonna get the Draconic Hex on. Uh, his Rosalina now. He's gonna be having a lot of trouble killing my Kaldori because he does not have any kind of good offensive skill. Now, Ren he does have Rend Heaven, but Rend Heaven is not gonna be helping him break my uh, Kaldori. If he had Aether or Astra, it would have been a bigger problem. And I can just kill his um, Shigure right here. I think I'm gonna be using... Let's see. I think I'm gonna be using Kaldori to kill this Shigure. And I'm going to be using Brave Lance. I'm going to get a crit. Which didn't really matter because I would have attacked twice. And uh, I do have Guard Stance with my Kaldori. And I can reach him with my Midori. I do have decent accuracy. Because he does not have Hagakure Blade equipped. And he has Armor Slayer equipped. So I think I'm going to take my chances and attack his Rosalina. I could use Spy Shuriken, but uh, I'll have bad accuracy. So I think 
going for this is probably the best play right now. Oh wow, I miss. And he's gonna get the guard stance. Alright. I, I was able to get the debuffs with the shuriken and he also has been weakened by draconic hex. So that's good. And uh, if he had dual katana, this would have been so much tougher for me to deal with. But thankfully because he does not have dual katana, it's a bit easier for me. And she's gonna get Rend Heaven, as I do have Guard Stance. I do hit her. And I miss, and I could have potentially killed her if I hit. So, um... If I attack him, he's gonna get the Guard Stance with his Rasulina. So, uh, I don't think I'm gonna be attacking him. And I have really bad accuracy because... He has Sunrise Katana equipped, and Sunrise Katana does give you plus 20 avoid. I have bad accuracy with Kaze as well. It's, it's actually not bad accuracy, it's no accuracy. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna be waiting instead of attacking his Rusulina. Because if I attack her, she's gonna get the guard stance. So, I'm gonna force his Rasulina to attack my Kalduri and equip Armor Slayer so that uh, she does not have the plus 20 avoid with uh, Sunrise Katana. And uh, I'm gonna be using Rally. And I do have Guard Stance with my Kalduri. But, like I was saying, if he had dual Katana, it would have been so much tougher for me. But thankfully, he does not. So, because of Draconic Hex and the Shuriken debuffs, I can maybe win this. And he actually runs away and uses his Elixir, which is a good play on his part. Now, I can reach his Rasulina, but he still has his Sunrise Katana equipped. And like I said, I want to force him to use Armor Slayer so that he no longer has the plus 20 avoid with Sunrise Katana. Because if he uses Sunrise Katana, he he's gonna be doing no damage to my Kaldori. So I'm gonna be putting my Midori here in case he decides to run the other way. So I could trap him. So right now he's forced to use Armor Slayer plus two. And like I said, it's pretty much impossible for him to one round KO my uh, Kaldori at this point. So he's gonna use Armor Slayer and he's gonna be doing 14 damage. As uh, I'm gonna break her guard stance and I'm gonna get the Draconic Hex. Now I'm gonna be using Rally and I can just attack her with my Midori because he no longer has Sunrise Katana equipped. I actually wanna see how well Soldier Snipe does while it has garbage hit rate. So gonna be using Iron Shuriken. Come on. Yes. So he fails to proc a miracle and that's gonna be it for his Rasulina. Which means that uh, we have pretty much won this match because his Jacob can do no damage to my Kaldori. So Kaldori will be able to finish this off. Probably. As I'm gonna get Ether and that's gonna be it for his Jacob. Wow, he brought such a scary team this match. So that was game 2 and uh, let's move on to game 3. So Rasuli has counterpicked Destroyed Town once again and um, if I win this match then I win the set. So it looks like he's brought the same team which he brought in the first match. It is definitely the same team looking at the skill sets and he still has the Charlotte with Gale Force. So, he can use Rescue with his Shigure and uh, Rescue his Charlotte, who has Guild Force. So, I'll have to place my units such that he's not able to reach me 
with a Charlotte after using Rescue with a Shigure. So gonna be replicating my Rally Bot and now I'll be using all of the Rainbow Tonics. I have this team with Keragi, Soleil, Xander and uh, Ryoma. My Soleil and Keragi have S rank with each other and my Ryoma and Xander have A rank support with each other. So he's gonna use Rainbow Tonics on his units it looks like. And he's not going to be using Rescue this turn. So, um... I'm going to be pairing up Soleil with Kiragi and Xander with Ryoma. And uh, he can use Rescue and come and attack me next turn. That's definitely what he's going to do. And uh, it's actually fine with me. So, I'm going to be using Rally and I'll be putting Ryoma here. As uh, he might come and attack me. And I can put my Kiragi here. And finally, I can put my Rally Bot um, right here. So, this team can definitely take hits from his team because, um, because I know Rasuli loves using uh, very strong teams with uh, plus 7 weapons, Guild Force and stuff like that. So that's why all of my teams are made in such a manner that they can survive enemy phase against uh, these kinds of teams. And I do have my Ryoma with uh, 140 avoid and Raijinta also gives him plus 10 avoid. So his Charlotte is gonna have a lot of trouble hitting my Ryoma because he does not have dual club on his Charlotte. So she's gonna have very little chance of hitting my Ryoma. And he actually forgot to use Rally first. So, let's see what he does. Yeah, now he uses Rally. But even with Rallies, I'm pretty sure his Charlotte is gonna have a hard time hitting my Ryoma. Because Swords do beat Axes. And Ryoma has Godly Avoid right now. And he does not have Dual Club on his Charlotte. And the next turn, I'll be able to kill his Rally Bot, definitely. So he's gonna attack my Kiragi with Tomahawk. As I'm just gonna get the Lethality to finish her off. Even if he got a crit with his Charlotte, my Kiragi did have Miracle. So his Charlotte is gonna go down. And uh, now I can just use Rally and just attack his Rally bot with my Ryoma because I do have dual Guardsman on Xander so my Ryoma will be able to get some nice shields by attacking this Rally bot. I do get two Rand Heavens and that's gonna be it for his Rally bot. So I'm gonna put my Kiragi in the attack range of his Kana because his Kana can come and attack my Kiragi with lightning plus four and my Kiragi does have pretty bad resistance. So I honestly want him to come and attack my Kiragi. So let's see what he does. His Miracle Midori is actually not a threat to my team because I do have a Sniper and uh, Ryoma with Shuriken Breaker. However, his Kana can be pretty annoying because of his build, of his tanky build, because he does have even better, better odds, renewal, and uh, Kana's personal skill, Draconic Air. And by combination of these skills, he's gonna be recovering, I believe, 85% health every turn. So he can be pretty annoying, but I do have Worm Slayer on my team, so let's see how this goes. It's a pretty tanky and annoying build but uh, the problem with this build is that Dragonstone Plus uh, does not have very good hit rate and it reduces your strength and magic every turn but still it's a very good build so gonna be using Rally and uh, let's see how much damage we do to this Kana I do one damage with Ryoma wow and I do zero with Kiragi so I think I'm gonna take the one damage hopefully I can proc a Rent Heaven I do proc it, as he's gonna proc Pavis. 
And uh, I could attack him with uh, Kiragi and hope for an Aether. But I think I'm just gonna put Kiragi out of the attack range. And uh, I can put my Rally Bot here. So let's see what he does. This is a pretty annoying build, honestly. It will be hard to take down. He has so much defense. Wow. So he's gonna put this Kana right there in front of my Ryoma. And he's gonna attack me with his Midori. You have my aid. He's gonna proc Aether. As I get a Rent Heaven, I get another one and a crit as uh, she's gonna survive with Miracle. So, um, I'm gonna be using Rally and uh, I'm gonna be attacking his uh, Midori and killing her with Spy's Yumi. So, down goes his Miracle Midori. And uh, now I can just trade uh, Worm Slayer from Xander and use it on his Kana. The reason why I didn't use Worm Slayer the first time is because he still had uh, his Midori, so that's why I used Raijinto. He's gonna get sold, but he's gonna miss. And uh, because I do have Astra on my uh, Ryoma, I will be able to break his build on his Kana eventually, hopefully. So I'm gonna be rescuing my Kiragi because I do not need to take any kind of risk right now. He could have attacked me with lightning plus four but I just want to play safe. He actually just ends his turn. So, gonna be using Rally. And, uh, I can actually attack him with my bootleg Fusion Yumi. And I can do 7 damage. Hopefully, I get a Lethality or something. Please, something. Come on, Kiragi. Alright, I get Aether. As that's gonna fill up his guard stance. And, uh,. I'm actually gonna trade the Brave Sword plus 4 from Soleil and I do pathetic damage to his Kana, but still uh, that will be able to break his guard stance and I might have a chance to get Rent Heaven. I do get that. I also get a crit as he is gonna survive with Miracle. Damn. He's gonna be able to recover 85% of his health and I do zero damage with my rally bot, so... Wow. He's gonna be able to recover all of his damage. Honestly, I could just transfer... Uh, I could just transfer Xander and try to attack his Kana and try to finish him off, but I'm pretty sure Xander will not be able to finish off this Kana. Hmm. He's quite weakened because of Dragonstone uh, plus debuffs. And uh, once again, gonna rescue my Kiragi. He's gonna get so much health back. Oh my god. I just need to get Astra with my Ryoma. He's gonna end this turn once again. I'm gonna use Rally once again and uh, gonna be attacking him. Actually, I'm gonna be attacking him with Ryoma first, because if he procs a miracle, I'll be able to finish him off with Kiragi. No you die. No. I'm gonna get the Astra. And uh, now I can just finish him off with uh, Crescent Bow, plus 4. He's gonna survive. 
but I'll be able to proc a Rend Heaven and a crit to finish off his Kana. So down goes his Kana. And uh, that's good. That's good for us. And he only has his Mitama left. And there's not much he can do, to be honest. So I feel really relaxed after killing his Kana. So he's gonna attack my Ryoma with his Mitama. As I'm gonna dodge. You have breathed your last. You die. No. I'm gonna get two Rend Heavens as uh, she's gonna survive. And uh, I can pretty much just uh, kill her this turn. Kiragi does zero damage. I really wanted to finish this off with Kiragi, to be honest. But uh, it doesn't look like that. So, um. I'm gonna be rescuing my Kiragi because I want to attack his Mitama from a distance just to be safe even though I'm pretty sure I cannot lose at this point. Okay. So I'm gonna get a Rend Heaven and a crit to finish this off and Ryoma is gonna finish this off so I win 3-0 that was such a good game wow. Rasuli brought some really scary and solid teams, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I know a lot of you, and I mean a lot of you have been waiting for this video. So hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. And also make sure to check out Rasuli's channel. And once again, a big shout out to my friend Adam for helping me test these teams. So with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for your support, and uh, have a great day.